illustration art. I'm taking three dollar store canvases and giving them my glam touch. I hope you enjoy. I picked up three of these dollar store canvases and I had a wonderful idea in mind for each of them. Taking them out of their packaging, I then started on the first canvas. Taking some sticky tape, I wanted to, to add stripes to my first canvas, so I just placed sticky tape about one centimetre apart over the entire canvas. Black craft paint, I started to paint each stripe. Now the stripes don't have to be perfect because the tape will do its job. painting I put my little project to the side so it could dry. I then started on my second canvas. I took my second canvas and taking my favourite Rust-Oleum spray paint in gloss candy pink, I took it outside and gave it two coats. I can't tell what's wrong or right. While I was waiting for them to dry, I then took my third canvas. And what I'm going to do here is create a design. Somewhere else to set me free. Taking a pencil and a ruler, what I'm creating here is a stack of coffee table books. So all you need to do here, guys, is start from the bottom and work your way up. We are going to create three coffee table books. So all you need to do here is create three stacks. It's a little bit like a wedding cake. The largest one at the bottom and the smallest one at the top. I'm also creating a square box at the very top of our coffee table books. This is actually going to be a bag. Once you have the design in place, you're then going to take that black paint again and you're going to paint the bottom coffee table book. I then decided to paint my second book, this beautiful cherry blossom pink. I then moved on to my third book and taking this beautiful island blue craft paint, I painted that one as well. I 
and then took a black sharpie pen and what I did here guys is the bag I went round with the pen and I just drew a little line and two dots and continued that look around the entire square. I then wanted to draw a handle on my little bag so I continued the same design around the middle. I then took a thicker sharpie pen and I wrote the word Chanel. Once that was complete, I then took that sharpie pen and I did an outline around each of the coffee table books. Now you'll see here that I went round each of the books. Rather than have little gaps between the lines, I then went over and made a complete straight line. Taking the smaller Sharpie pen, I drew little curves as if there was curves in the books. I then took a little piece of that pink paint again. And what I'm doing here, guys, is creating some flowers spilling out of my bag. What you need to do here is remember to do the dry brush method. Take the minimum amount of paint on your brush and wipe it off on another piece of paper before you start doing circles as your flowers. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. What I did here is got that small Sharpie pen again and you're going to make some decorative edges as if they're the petals of the flowers. I then took a white paint pen and I spelt out in capital letters Louis Vuitton. larger sharpie pen and I spelled out the word girl boss. Now if you're not confident in your handwriting I recommend that you google a word such as girl boss and see what the font looks like. This will give you a guide and make you feel more confident in your handwriting. I then took the smaller sharpie pen and wrote the word Miss Dior. I went over all the letters to make sure I was getting the right areas for the definition. Once it was finished, I couldn't make up my mind if I liked the flowers, guys. So I took some of my foam flowers from eBay and I hot glued them to the top. I then went back to my first canvas and started to remove the tape. By four template of a perfume bottle, I trace this onto my little canvas. I then took my pencil and ruler again and created a small square in the center of my perfume bottle. Taking some white craft paint, I then painted the square. Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be somewhere else to say. I then took some of that beautiful ocean blue paint again and started to paint the bottom of my perfume bottle. I hope the wind will carry me and take me. I then took some of this grey paint and started to paint the lid of the perfume bottle. If you find your paint is a little thick guys, off camera I actually just wet the tip of my brush with some water and this helped it go on so much better. 
I then grabbed that Sharpie pen once more and I went round the entire perfume bottle to give it some definition. Around the white square, I made a little decorative frame by adding just a stroke with two dots. I then got that Sharpie pen once again and I wrote the word Coco. Taking the smaller Sharpie pen, I wrote out the word Perfume. And take me away to where I, should. I then grabbed the thicker Sharpie pen and wrote out the word Chanel. And then wrote out the word Paris with the smaller Sharpie pen. Taking the smaller Sharpie pen, I drew a curve at the bottom of the bottle as if it was the inside of the bottle. I then took the larger of the Sharpie pens, drew a little circle around the middle of the lid and added the two little ties. complete I then took these dollar store black stickers and I added them randomly over my canvas. I then moved on to my third canvas. Now guys I wanted to create a pair of high heels so I googled a template of some glam high heels and what I did here is I just traced this onto the canvas. I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be somewhere else I then took the paintbrush again and some of that black paint and I started to paint the black areas of the high heels. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be I then took some of this gold glitter craft paint and I added it to the inside of the high heels. Once it was complete, I then added these silver glitter dollar store stickers and I added them randomly over my canvas. Now guys, I ended up not being happy with the gold glitter paint and I ended up using this gold glitter contact paper instead. I simply traced the inside of the shoe and felt that this gold glitter stood out so much more. Oh, I wonder if there's a place where the sun won't go away. What a with an open mind looking out from a mountain I don't know what to do now need to figure it out but I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be fun creating these girly glam canvases for you. They were so much fun to create. I love bringing new ideas for you and I love that they were an inexpensive project that you could do this weekend. Don't be afraid to have a go at your very own designer inspired canvas. You don't have to be a perfect artist, guys. These were such simple DIYs that I wanted to share with you that anyone could have a go at. I can't tell what's wrong or right.
Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be somewhere else to set me free. I don't know what to do now. Need to figure it out, but I don't know how. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be. for watching guys I truly hope you've enjoyed this video I hope I've inspired you to have a go at your very own girly glam canvas art looking out from a mountain I don't know what to do now need to figure it out but I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be Don't forget guys to like, share and subscribe to my channel because I'll be back real soon with more DIY projects, inspirational ideas and room tours here at Shell's Glam Home. next time my friends I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye guys